Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hey, today, inshallah, we are going to study the government intervention in the market. Okay. The government intervenes in the market to internalize the situation by different tools, by different techniques. So, let's go to study the government intervention in the market. The government intervenes in the market by two ways, either directly or indirectly. So, the government intervention, the government intervention in the market Either it should be direct or indirect. The direct intervention of the, of the, uh, of the government might be by taxes or subsidies. The indirect intervention of the government might be by the price ceiling and the price of lower policies. Price ceiling, rather subfacetum symbol, or the price of floor. Or this. So sometimes the government intervene by setting taxes directly on the producers or sometimes on the consumers, which means that we have a direct intervention in the economy. Or sometimes the government subsidizes the producers to produce more. Sometimes uh, there is a supply shortage, so th the government can subsidize the farmers, the producers, the different groups who produce different bundles of goods and services. Okay? This part or this type, this type is called the direct intervention. Now, I will try to, or we will try to explain the indirect intervention of the government by imposing a price ceiling and the price of floor. To understand the idea of price ceiling and the price of floor, let's have the following example. So I think that I have to wear my shoes. Okay, the price ceiling. So let's go to the indirect intervention of the, of the government by setting a price ceiling. Price ceiling. Amen? Okay, let's go to understand the concept or the idea of price ceiling. To understand the idea of price ceiling, let's have the following example. Here, we will talk about the flowers market. Flowers mean tin, means a tin here. Price of a flower and the quantity of flower. And here's the demand for flower and supply of flower. Here's 
per sack of flour, 50 kilogram, 50 kilogram of flour. لو هذا ال per sack شوي الطحين اللي هو 50 كيلوغرام بالفير بالفير قديش البرايس تبعه قديش بيكلف بالنورمال سيتويشن 120 شيكلز اوكي هذا بالنورمال سيتويشن ذس از ان اسامبشن هير ناو ليتس اسيوم ذات ذا برايس ان ذا ماركت ذا برايس بير ساك اوف فلاور Equals 250 shekels. This is the equilibrium price. And peer family or peer capita consumption of a flower is two sacks of flour a month. What do you see? The price is so high, and the consumer cannot buy this product, and it's necessary for the consumers, and they cannot give up it. So, the government should intervene to protect whom? To protect whom? The consumers, exactly. So, to, pro to protect the consumers, the government should intervene by imposing or setting a price ceiling. Yeah. So, the price ceiling here should be 120 shekels. This is the maximum price that the seller can buy or can sell. This is, it's allowed for them to sell the product with lower than or less than 120 shekels, but it's forbidden to sell the product above the price ceiling, 120. So this price is called here. The price ceiling. How you ceiling heck? I the side fact, I'm not at lot. But it's allowed for you to sell the product with by 100, 110, 90 shekels, but not more than 120. This is the government regulations or regulation or legislations by the government here. It's the price ceiling here. Okay? What do you see? What do you see? The quantity demanded before the price ceiling was two, and the quantity supplied was two. And then before the price ceiling, before the price ceiling, The quantity demanded was equal. The quant supplied, quant demanded was two sacks, and the quant supplied equals two sacks of flour. Now, after imposing or setting a price ceiling here, the quantity demanded here, it's the point lies along demand curve here, maybe uh, four sacks of flour. And the quantity supplied here, this is the quantity demanded here. The quantity supplied is the point lies along the supply curve, one sack of flour. So after imposing, after the price ceiling, The quantity demanded becomes how much? Four. And the quant supplied equals one here. Here we have one. 
shortage supply. Exactly. Or supply shortage. So, EQ S minus EQ D equals 1 minus 4. The market situation here we have minus the 3. We have a shortage supply or supply shortage of a flower or excess demand. By three sex per unit or peer family. Because as the price go down or went down here, the sellers felt that they face a loss or their profits went down. So they will try to decrease the produ their production. So this created what? The shortage supply. Or created an excess demand. Okay? So now if the government imposed or sets the price ceiling above the equilibrium, what will happen? No. It's an ineffective price ceiling. Because the price ceiling is what? The price ceiling is the maximum price that the producer can sell or the sellers can sell. In this case, it should be effective. So, the price, if the price ceiling is imposed, who, to pr the price ceiling is imposed to protect whom? To protect the consumers. And then the price ceiling can hit. Is imposed. Then we will talk about effective price ceiling. Hada. The price ceiling is mainly, of course, sets to protect the consumers. Hada wahed. Then to protect the consumers. Day. It should be lower or less than the equilibrium price. Then the price is mainly the market price so high, two hundred fifty. So. It's eligible, or it's allowed, uh, the price, the effective price ceiling should be lower than the equilibrium price. So it should be below the equilibrium price. What else? No, I, I'm going to study the effects, the impacts of the price ceiling now. But here I'm talking about the price ceiling is the maximum price. It's not the minimum. And then how the whole maximum price? The, the producer can, or the seller, can sell his or her product for it's forbidden to sell the product above the price ceiling. It's forbidden in the Hague for it's forbidden or forbidden to sell the product or service above the equilibrium, uh, sorry, the price ceiling. And I know that the government said that ممنوع تبيعه بأكثر من 120 حد بيقدر يبيع بأكثر من 120 خلصنا وين بده يدوم تمام هاي 
فوربيدن ممنوع طبعا اتس الاود تو سيل ذا برودكت بلو 120 يعني مسموح لك يا بياع تبيع باقل من 120 بيع طب هو اصلا عند ال 120 مش ضابطه معه صح؟ اذا هنا هيك اتس الاود تو سيل ذا برودكت بلو اور ليس ذان 120 شيكلز تمام؟ اوكي؟ هذا النوع هذا البرايس في الماركت برايس يعني انت جيت على السوق لقيت البرايس 250 شيكل لكن سطحين هذا الوضع الموجود آه هذا هذا النوع هذا النوع بالكونسمشن مفترضين انه تو ساكس اوف فلاور الونج ذيس برايس ذا برايس از سو اكسبنسيف تمام وين انت بتشتري قديش؟ تو يونتس تو ساكس اوف فلاور مضبوط؟ طيب اجت الحكومه شافته غالي غالي على الناس يعني تو تو اكسبنسيف قالت لهم للبياعين للسيلرز ممنوع تبيعوا باكثر من 120 بس بيع باقل ذاتس ات هذا اسمه افكتيف برايس سيلينج ناو اف ذا جفرمنت سيتس ذا برايس سيلينج اباف 250 يعني اجت الحكومه وقالت ليش خلي البرايس اباف 250 ولا احد ملتزم. اصلا تو بروتكت هوم ضرب ضرب ال 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 الايمز تبعه الجولز، الجول تبعه انه تو بروتكت ذا كونسيومرز. طب اذا اجت الجفرمنت خلته خلت البرايس بير ساك فلاور 300 شيكلز. بطل برايس سيلينج. لانه المين جول ذا مين جول ذا مين اوبجيكتيف اوف ذا ذا برايس سيلينج از تو بروتكت ذا كونسيومرز هير. If the government sets the price ceiling above the equilibrium here, so mu ineffective price ceiling. سقف سعري غير فعال. Then هذا بصير. If the government or the price ceiling is imposed above the equilibrium price, should be ineffective price ceiling. Then what is the ineffective price ceiling? طيب the effective price ceiling اللي هو وين بيكون below the equilibrium price or the market price لان هذا هيك بسموه effective price ceiling effective price ceiling تمام ها آه؟ طيب what are the impacts of setting the price ceiling on the market Then had the above the equilibrium price is an ineffective price ceiling. So the effective price ceiling should be imposed below the equilibrium of the market price. Tamam? Type. What are the impacts or the effects of a price ceiling? The effects or the impacts or the consequences of The price ceiling. The effects or impacts of price ceiling policy. Come back here to the graph. Before the price ceiling, the quantity demanded equals the quantity supplied. Now the government decided to impose or to set the price ceiling here at 120 shekels. What has happened here? What do you see? The quantity demanded goes up. The quant supply goes down. Here we have what? Shortage supply. The number one, imposing the price ceiling or setting the price ceiling leads to what? Number one, supply shortage or shortage supply. Number one, 
quant demanded becomes bigger than the quant supplied. Here we have short is supplied. OK. Or x is demand. What else? Queuing. Queuing. Oh, beer. لما انت الناس مشكلتنا وين في في غزه وفي كل المناطق اللي بصير فيها الامبارجو هذا والسيج. قول فيش بضاعة بكره لقيت على قد قول فيش بنزين او مش عاد بكره شو اللي حتسوي؟ حتلاقي الناس طوابير من 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 رفح لغزه تمام عشان يعبي سولر صح؟ مع انه لسه الازمه مش موجوده لسه هلا امبوزنج البرايس سيلينج هذا هيك البروديوسرز شو بيساووا؟ احتكار مونوبولي هذا بصير ايش بيساووا؟ بقول لك بدي شبيع خلي البضاعه موجوده طب دبروا حالكم 100% الان بصير اللي عنده طحين بقول لك بدي شبيع بس بدي اروح لقيت بقول والله لا الطحين موجود عند ابو فلان الناس بتلاقي بقولوا صافين امرأة بتشوفوهم في الكوكينج جاس لما بروح بعبوا في المحطات لما بقولوا هذا تمام؟ بتلاقي الناس طوابير مع انه فيش طحين معنى الكلام شو الوضع؟ في عندي هاي ديماند اكسس ديماند تظهر شيء اسمه كيوينج The consumers will wait in long queues to get the product. So the consumers will wait and too long queues to get the product. The consumers will wait in too long queues or beer to get the product, to buy the product. Yeah. What will happen to the quality of uh, production here? Down, exactly. What will happen to the quality of the productions here for uh, production for yeah, high demand, uh, shortage supply of a flower in the market here. What will happen to the quality? The quality goes down. Then <laughs> imposing the price ceiling here leads to create products with lower quality and then the quality of the products here or services goes down what else black market The black market means the seller will try to sell the product underground to underground. With higher prices. With higher prices. ب 120 بدي ابيعه ب 170 بقول له انا بشتري انا بديش اوقف طوابير هذا اللي معاه مصاري تمام ما عندوش استعداد يوقف طابور صح؟ ولا يواجه انه فيش عنده في طحين في البيت شو بده يساوي؟ بس على السكت هذا اسمه بلاك ماركت 
So the black market here occurs due to the price ceiling policy. So the black market here means that the seller will sell the products with higher price than the, pre the price ceiling but underground. OK? Tamam? OK. Number five. The sellers will try to sell the product for their families, their relatives. مظبوط؟ روح على واحد قريب وبيبيعوا لي اياها، بقول لك البريورتي هنا ان انا بدل ما اوديهم على الماركت بخلي لقرايبي ولا حبايبي، هيك اللي بصير. تمام؟ اذا هنا the sellers مسح هذا اللي فوق. The seller sellers Well, sell the product, the flower, for their relatives and families, their families and relatives. That's it. I suck it, the شوف هي ابيعوا ب 160 ب 120 الك ولا بيعوا لامي بس هيك ذاتس ات ما ببيعوا لاخوي ذا سيم برايسز ببيعوا ريليتيفز ولا هيك والفاميز طبعا انا ملابس بصير كرايسز اوكي سيلينج ويل سيل ذا برودكتس اور ذا فلاور فور ذير فاميز اند ريليتيفز اوكي ليتس جو تو how can the government deals with such a problem? Here, the price ceiling solve a problem, protected the consumers, but it has created so many problems. حلت مشكلة الكونسيومر اللي بدفع هذا يعني necessary products for the consumers and it's so expensive. هلا طلعنا من مشكلة so expensive with and created many problems. How can the government internalize the situation or how can the government get rid of these problems or solve this, these problems? Number one, how can the government How can the government solve these problems here? We have a shortage supply. Number one, we have lower low quality of flowers. High production, high cost of raw material. Masbut? What else? Of the black market. How can the government solve these problems? Yes. No, price floor is something else. It's a something else, which will be discussed later on, inshallah. But number one, yes. Lower prices, to, to lower the prices, how? 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 And why? As we mentioned that the 120 is fair game. Fair for the producers and fair for the, the consumers. بعد الحسابات للرو ماتيريال والبرودكشن الانبوتس تبعتها طالع حقه يقول كل هذا بكلفنا 110 شيكلز بيعوا 120 تس Fair. يعني هذا بيربح وهذا يعني بدفع شيء كثير. The question is yes. Exactly. This is number one. We have a shortage supply. How can we increase supply here? Encouraging the local production, number one, and increase the imports for a short period. So number one. The government, then how can 
we or the government saw the problems of price ceiling. How can can the government solve the problems of the price ceiling policy? Number one, encouragement of local production. of flour. بمعنى نعمل تشجيع للإنتاج المحلي هذا واحد Sometimes raw material نشتريها من برا like the wheat وال inputs هاي بدنا نشجع استيرادها صح؟ إذا هنا encouragement of the inputs importing imports of imports of raw material what else No, expectation here is not related to this point here. Yes? من إيش؟ obstacles على إيش يعني؟ تمام بتعمل monitoring للمارك بس هو إحنا قاعدين بنعمل في مشكلة shortage supply ممكن تعطي coupons للناس اللي بتشتري صح؟ هلا في محطات ال ال الغازولين والهذا شو اللي بيعملوا؟ بيعطوا لعينات من الناس بيعطوهم كوبونز بيقول له هذا الكوبون انت بتقدر يو كان باي جاست 100 لترز ا ويك نوت مور ذان خلص بيعمل اورجنايزنج للماركت ذن هذا بيعمل ايش الكوبونز You can buy. بيعملوا limitation. هذا limited limitation. You can buy fifty kilogram a month only. بدل ما تروح تشتري عشرين كيس لا بدك واحد وخلاص أو يعني that's it. هذا الكوبونز بيعملوا limited amount. Okay. Okay, let's go to something else. Mean Shvehme? Clear? Clear? Okay. Let's go to the price floor. Mean and I used to start the price floor. The price floor. The limitation, Hana. Coupons. مش فاهمه؟ شوفوا المشكله انتم شويه ابعاد عن الهي، لقيتها الفشرمن قطاع الصيادين لما بيكون في عندنا شورت سبلاي اوف فيول فيش بنزين وفيش فيش سولر شو بيساوي؟ وفي ما في منطقه في يعني في فترات صيد بيكون بيكون في عندنا يعني فتره صيد وفيش سولر عشان يقدر يروح يصيد بده سولر يشغل المركب تبعه مظبوط؟ صح؟ طب كيف بده يجيبه؟ اذا اصلا في عندي شورت سبلاي بيعطوهم في وزاره المنستر اوف اجريكلتشر بيعطوهم كوبونز بيقولوا روح على محطه فلان معك بالشهر قديش الكونسمشن عندك قديش الديماند قديش الاستهلاك عندك مثلا 100 لتر مونث 
بقول له هاي عندك الكوبون هذا 100 لتر وعلى محطة أبو فلان بتلاقي عنده آه هاي الآن هو إيش عمل؟ عمل أورجانيزينج بدل ما ياخذ ما واحد في واحد صياد واحد ون فشر مان يعني ياخذ يعني ياخذ 1000 لتر واحد غيره ما ياخذش ويعملوا كرايسيس بالهاي تمام؟ لا بقول لك لا وزع هذا هذا بياخذ 100 وهذا بياخذ 50 وهذا بياخذ 70 وهذا بياخذ كذا اكوردنج ذا نيدز هير فبيعمل اورجانيزينج فهذا الكوبونز هي الفكره تبعتها تمام؟ اوكي اوكي ليتس جو تو ذا برايس اوف فلور برايس أرضية سعرية. It's the opposite case for the opposite side the price ceiling. Uh, to understand the ideal price of lower, let's have the following example. The price here packs of tomato. The normal situation, 15 shekels. Where well, LPR price includes or contains about seven uh, kilogram. Had a fair the consumer and the producer to sell the product by 15 shekels. Here. Packs of tomato. Okay? Now, let's go to the market. The tomatoes market here. Price, pure packs of tomato. And the quantity of tomatoes by packs. And this is the demand for tomatoes. Supply of tomatoes. And the equilibrium price in the market was four shekels. The quad purchase of tomato equals, okay, eight boxes a month. طبعا هذا ال per capita consumption of tomatoes the family. And a per family buys eight boxes a month under the low prices. Okay? This is an assumption. Now, The price is so low. صح؟ Smooth. So, who will lose in this case? The producer. The producer, the sellers here face big loss. مظبوط؟ So, the government should intervene in this case to protect whom? To protect the sellers. So, The government, under the low prices, the price here is low, and the selling prices will not cover or meet the cost of inputs. مزبوط؟ ما بتغطى التكاليف تبعتها. So. Here are the farmers, the sellers, face big loss. As there is a big loss here, the government should intervene to protect whom? To protect, to protect the sellers. So, yeah. So, the government should intervene 
to protect whom? Sellers. طب عشان تحميهم قديش لازم السعر يكون؟ Should be larger than four. Exactly. Yeah. The fair price should be above four. صح؟ Then السعر العادل تبع أنو أنو حيكون؟ The price, the fair price, should be above four. Fifteen. بالأسامشي تبعنا هيك إنه fifteen shekels per pound of tomato is fair for the producers. بمعنى بجيب حق الرو ماتيريال وبيغطي شوي بيغطي له شوية ال والإنبوتس والكوست والإنبوتس والهيك وبيجيب ال بيجيب له يعني profit margin. تمام؟ طيب. This price is called here the price of flour. Hello. If the government imposed or sets the price of flour here above the equilibrium, is it effective? Effective. Why? Because we have an achievement for the goal to be home to protect me, to protect the sellers. But the government, the government, wants to protect the producers or sellers and make the price three. He actually means four. Is it right? So this is the situation. هذا if the price of flour is set or is imposed above the equilibrium price, it will be an effective price flour. Okay, so the effective price of flour. Malu, fog. The earth تحتيك ولا فوق؟ هنا the effective fog. The ceiling, the ceiling. The effective price ceiling, when can? تحت السجي فوق راسك. العكس عكس ما ها؟ هلا effective price ceiling. أنت بتقول السجي بده يكون فوق راسي لا مش فوق راسي أنا أنا هيك effective price ceiling should be below the equilibrium. Effective price of floor above. Okay. تمام. وصلت أنا وصلت إيش؟ تمام. Now. What are the consequences and effects of the imposing a price ceiling? What are the effects of imposing the price ceiling here? Quant supplied will go up. Now, no, badal ma biya the price price for pure price. Sar biya ab khamis slash. So I will say, izra ab tomatoes. Masbud ala. Tab hada li kan bishtri eight boxes of tomato. يقول لك بكفينا واحد وكثير مش هيك اللي بصير صح بدل ما كان بجري متحير من وين يجيب يجيبوا بندوره ويصفطوا صح؟ اليوم لا كواتيتي ديماند جوز داون تو تو باكسز اور وان باكس اند ذا كوانتيتي سبلايز هير انكريزز تو 12 مي بي اور 20 باكسز per capita يعني production تبع ال ال produce or ال ال هاي twenty boxes تمام here we have what QS is bigger than QD we have what X is supply of goods exactly exactly so here we have X is supply Equal shortage demand of tomatoes by QS minus QD. QS twenty minus one equals nineteen. This is. Excess supply of tomatoes in the local market. Okay? Clear? Okay. What should the government... Here we have an excess supply of tomatoes in the local market. What should the government... It's a problem. Actually, 
That's a problem here. What should the government do in this case? Exactly, number one, should the government should encourage exporting of tomatoes. So, yes. Exactly, stop importing of tomatoes by increasing the import's tariff. The customs had the tijid daraib on the jamarik on the one. One is one is actually Gargani in the bandora. One is going to say, "I want to buy a bandora from abroad." I'm not sure what's going on. This is called stop importing of tomatoes by increasing the customs or import tariff. Tariff the jamarik on the bandora that comes from abroad. What else? Yes. Exactly. Nice. Perfect. So, here, what should the government the government do to solve the price of lower problems here? هذا المنطقة هيك اسمها. Excess supply of tomatoes. Type. If the price or the price of floor was below the equilibrium, is it effective? No. Some hek ineffective. Price of floor above. At the effective price of floor. At the price, hey, effective price of floor. So here, what should the government do? What should the government do to solve the problem? The price floor prep. Or created problems here. Or the problems created by the price of floor. What should the government do to solve the problems created by the price of floor policy? Number one, <coughs> encouragement, exporting of tomatoes. Number one. Number two, is stop importing. What give our shajja sadrat encouragement or stop or decrease importing of tomatoes by increasing import tariff or e customs. نعم، stop importing هذا import تعرف تعرف الجمركي الكاستم زين أنت كيف بدك توقف في استيراد البندورة؟ يعني أنت بتستورد من بندورة من برا كيف بدك توقف فيها؟ خل الجمرك عليها ميتين في المية. ما حدش بيجيبها بتخسر معاه اللي بيجيبها من برا بتخسر معاه مظبوط؟ صح؟ مظبوط ولا مش مظبوط؟ طيب 3 The government sometimes can buy the over production of tomatoes بعض السلع الحكومة بتتدخل بتشتريها من مين؟ من السيلرز إذا sometimes The government 
buys or purchases. The overproduction, the overproduced, the overproduced the quantities. of tomato from the sellers طبعا ودي على الجيش صح اه بصيره بصيره طبعا بيشتغلوا هيك هلا بيشتغل على على الامبورتس كثير امبورتس تعرف اه بصير ولا بتابعوا ايه هلا شوفوا مش كل ما يقال بتطبق في البلد. ايش ابو حمزه؟ خلصنا؟ قد ايش ساعة؟ طوال نقطة واحدة بس هو هذا. مشروحة خلاص. مشروحة. طيب إذا the last point Is subsidizing the producers. Number four. Number to support their producers. هو اصلا بيخسر بالهاي تمام؟ اعمال سبورت اذا سبورتنج ذا بروديوسرز اور سيلرز ذاتس ات يعطيكم العافيه 